Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm with my buddy Taylor Stone of the Union Marine in Bellingham, Washington. And we're here to check out this 42 foot Boston Whaler Outrage powered with triple 600 Mercury Verado outboards. Taylor, we don't see machines like this too often in the Northwest. This is quite the boat, buddy. No, we don't. We're happy to show you this boat and happy to have you here, Rob. Can't wait to get you out on the water and show you some of the Yeah, well, let's do a quick walkthrough on this boat. We've got, obviously, you know, for my third grade math skills, 1800 horsepower right here with these 600 V12s. Uh, plenty of horsepower to move this 30,000 pound boat, buddy. One thing you'll notice about these outboards, the power heads don't move on these 600s. That way they can stack them in a lot tighter. Uh, they're mounted on 27 inch centers. And the only thing that moves is the lower unit on these 600s. Uh, maneuverability is incredible. Docking is incredible with these outboards. We'll get Taylor to drop these things into the water. Yeah. A lot of horsepower right there. And stepping through this access door here, you can pop the hoods on these 600s. All your ins and outs are right on top of these outboards. Nice thing about this design is you can do all your maintenance at the dock. A boat like this, 30,000 pounds, is not easy to haul in and out of the water and pretty costly too. You can, you can change your oil right at the dock. Lower unit, power head, everything can be done right there and you're off and running again. And what's the service interval again? Correct, Rob, it's 200 hours now on the V12s. Yeah. So the idea was it can all be done in the water. Yeah, 200 hour intervals and then a thousand hour main service. A thousand huh? hours your main service. And then two speed transmission. Uh, you don't even feel them shift. You don't, it's super smooth. Um, yeah. The only way you notice is watching the tacks. Yeah, you get your low end torque to get up out of the, out of the hole. And then uh, when they shift into second gear, you get that fuel economy. Uh, and then on the stern here, we've already got one of these folded down. You can see all this seating that comes down here. Right. And most of the whalers have this. This is nice. They do. Got a dive ladder that goes in on the excess door here, right? Correct, yeah. yeah. It's stored underneath the seat right here. Yeah, out of the way. That's the one great thing about whalers. They always find a spot to store your options. Then moving forward to the summer kitchen, Taylor. Correct. Flip that up there. Uh, what do we got here? We oh, got, got your, your grill right here. Yeah. Um, all your switches for everything on the back deck. Paper towel holder. We got a sink. And ice maker. Correct. We got ice, ice maker. Ice maker back here. Right there. How handy is that? Yeah. Fridge. And your fridge here. And all your tackle storage. Wow. Yeah. Then this all folds down, right? And got additional seating. To passengers, there we go. Fold that up right there. Oh, yeah. And then this is elevated too, so you can actually see. Correct. And we have full seat. heat vents right here for air conditioning, your reverse cycle heat. Um, we can enclose this with canvas, really. Yeah, we took the canvas off when we got here, but this has got a full enclosure. And what's nice about Whaler, they put this compartment in up here. Yes to stow all your canvas and everything in, which just gets it out of the way so it's not everywhere else. Where we usually tend to leave all of our canvas, you know, yeah. us guys, we'll throw it down in a corner somewhere, but this gets everything out of the way here. Moving on up to the helm station here, Taylor, got your bolster style seats that are pretty much standard equipment now on any boat. Correct. You know, super comfortable. You can lean here or fold that bolster down, climb into that seat. Got a nice foot rest here, commanding view, as we see in most of the whalers. You know, yeah. and then this is a, a powered seat as well, right? Yeah. The button right here. Forward and back, so you can adjust. Nice. Uh, and then we've got our Simrad head units here and the full integration into the Boston Wheeler system. You can control all your lighting, everything, right from your head unit right here. Switches, heat and AC, next gen controls here uh, with your active trim built right into it. Nice thing about active trim, once it's calibrated, you really don't have to touch your trim. Uh, you'll feel it when you get up on step, getting out of the harbor, you'll feel those outboards trim up a little bit. And then they kind of trim themselves all day long. Rarely, like maybe in a following sea, I've had to mess with a little bit, but rarely do you have to, to monkey with your trim. Uh, joystick control, your spotlight control here. Overhead, got your VHF radio, storage compartment. I love this right here, look at this. Again, things are becoming more and more like cars, you know. They are. Open this cabin right up. Yeah, that's sweet. And then, Boston Whaler, they think of everything. If you have a hard time seeing over that console, right there. 
that folds down. So, you know, for pretty much any body type, anyone can run this boat. Yeah, it really makes it easy visibility standing on that platform. As flat as this bow rides, it's still yeah. nice to stand up a little bit. Yeah, let's fold that up and drop down below there. Check out the massive cabin on this whaler. Go on in. Yeah, look how big this is down here. Lots of room, full width here. Full beam cabin, big table. Of course, this will push down and become yeah. a bunk, right? Correct, yeah. Got a sink here, got a mic right back in there. Got your TV, you can watch the ball game. Got your sink in here, we can open that up. Big sink too, look at that. You don't see that on too many boats. Look at the size of this head. Lots of room in there. You can see how much headroom we've got in here. All right, let's hit the bow on this badass machine here, Taylor. Look at this spacious seating up here. Big entertainment area. Like we see on all the whalers, everything's convertible. It is. The seat this, is so this versatile. This folds up. Here. Yeah, look at that. Now you've got additional forward facing seating here. This is power. So there's a table underneath here. And with this cushion on there, this becomes a big lounger as well. Correct. So with the push of a button, we lower the table yeah. down, make this into a full sun pad. Yeah. How nice is that? That'll drop all the way down. Another convertible backrest right there on both sides. Unreal. Jail audio. Got jail audio control right there. Got a charging port for your cell phone. And then uh, up top here, of course, you can see the open array, Simrad, FLIR camera. More storage here. All your, your dock lines can go in. In there, compartments everywhere. You've got chilled fish boxes in here as well, right? Are they Correct. both chilled? Correct. Yeah, let's open them up and take a look. Wow. Look at that. Think about all the albacore you could stuff in there too, right? I know, it's great. Oh, look at your chill lines here. Yeah. Nice. And uh, downrigger ball storage. This is where your table is. We mentioned this earlier. This one. Pop that baby up. Look at the rigging. Whew. Here's your table. It turns this into a big entertainment area here on the stern. Correct. Access is great for your diesel generator, batteries, fuel filters, Jeez. all your sea strainers. Look at the rigging. Through hole, transducers. That's a thing of beauty right there. I like it, Taylor. Check out the outside of this thing real quick. I like these here. So these pop out for your fenders, right? Correct. So you're not taking up room on the cleats. Mm -hmm. The other great thing is both your fuel tank fills are right here. So you're not dragging a hose across the boat. Oh yeah. 420 outrage. What, what kind of fuel capacity? Uh, it holds 700 gallons of fuel. Okay. It's got some range. It does. And 30,000 pounds, 1800 horsepower. This thing will blow through about anything mother nature can throw at it here in the Pacific Northwest. It will. That's your 420 outrage from Boston Whaler. If you're interested, get a hold of Taylor here at uh, Union Marine in Bellingham. Thanks for stopping by this week. Post your comments and questions down below. We'd love to hear them. Hit that subscribe button. Catch you next time.